Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, a very pleasant night to you, my precious pack, and welcome back once more to World of Tanks, and it's time for a little bit of fun with the Reno Charante. We're here on El Halouf in an all tier 10 match, and, well, both teams have an EBR, their team has a Manticore, my team has a Sheridan, and we got triple artillery. <sighs> Gotta love matches with three artillery pieces. And I'm gonna spoil something, as you know from the opening. It's going to be a loss. And you want to know what's even worse? The vast majority of my tank is destroyed by high explosive rounds. As you're going to see, almost every single premium round that hits my tank fails to penetrate. But almost every single high explosive round that hits my tank is going to do an average of 350 or more damage. I'm not going to tell you how much damage I actually wind up doing. You're just going to have to watch the video until the end, and there's the first premium round that fails to do anything. I do feel bad that it was the Manticore, though, because, I mean, that poor thing, it just... It definitely did not live up to the hype that the team was building towards it with the... <sighs> Everybody, I'll just say my favorite line whenever something stupid happens. Just point and laugh, everyone. <laughs> Just point and laugh. But, yeah. My Reno is one of my still current favorite tanks. And it's one of the few tier 10s that while I've been selling stuff for the auctions and stuff like that, I haven't sold yet. And I'm actually focusing on playing on a daily basis just so I can try and get a decent sum of credits and stuff back so I can start purchasing my tanks back, start getting crews back in them, and well, thanks to the premium days as of lately, it has been a fairly easy endeavor to undertake, to say the least. With an average of on one hour, I'm pulling in 750,000 or more credits. So, yeah, a very, very nice healthy profit. I've only been playing for about, eh, one to two hours a day. Primarily just to get the first wins and tier 10s and stuff like that that I just bought so I can fully get their field modifications set up, stuff like that. But when it comes to the matches like this, well, no boosters or active or anything like that because I'm just playing for fun. Oh, and I forgot to say, we bounced the second premium round from the VZ55 there. We're only three minutes in and we're down 5,000 hit points. A tank. Two tanks. And there's the first artillery hit and there's another premium round that bounces. Well, it was absorbed by the track and I don't feel sorry for that one at all because I've had a number of times where I fired at the side of a tank and the track just eats it, so... That was kind of funny actually having that happen in the match. up to a thousand damage so far and there's another hit from their artillery and at this point I just think let's just back away a little bit and let's not get slapped in the face for another basically 350 damage out of nowhere but at the same time I'm just eyeballing these two just thinking I want to creep up on that little bridge line I want to shoot at that 60 TP and I want to shoot at that VZ 55 but yeah I haven't done that yet and I still have no idea which artillery is firing at which. I just know that I'm being focused by the Object 261. Woo -hoo -hoo. Two into the VZ. And you're going to love this high explosive round. I have no idea how that did not pen, but hey look, it's the 261 again. Yes, that is correct. I have lost the vast majority of the hit points of my tank to nothing but high explosive rounds. Even a premium high explosive round at that failed to take me out. And that was an extremely delayed shot by me, so that was a waste of a round. But 2,456 damage. Not 
not too shabby. But it could be a lot better. I'm just thinking, head back to the base and try and defend. I say try and defend because it's all going wrong. First off, the Jagdpanzer is going down to the south alone. I, I kind of look back there because I think, should I help them? But then I remember, the team's mostly losing and this is looking like a losing match. And right here I make the decision, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to creep the ridge line, see if I can spot anything, see if I could possibly get shot on something as I'm leaving. And I stop and start to go back because I think, anything? Anything? No. Nothing. There's nothing out there for me to fire at, which is a shame. Keep an eye on what's going on over towards the base. And that was a full health object 140. And EBR helped take out the Progetto. Rest in peace, Progetto. Speaking of rest in peace, you're going to love this one. Look, it's their manticore. They look very, very healthy, don't they? Well, I think otherwise, so does the artillery. <laughs> uh, now I'm thinking, do I want to push against the Object 140? And the answer is yes. Because, again, I, I've basically already accepted this match is going to be a loss. And that was a nice shot there into the T110 E4. Although they did give the broadside. And here comes another hilarious one. Who wants to watch an EBR disappear? Aiming, aiming, aiming. And they turn right into it. <laughs> uh, 4,000 damage. Haven't been hit again, and the artillery seems to be leaving me alone for the moment. Acknowledged. T92, giving a quick thanks, and you're more than welcome. I've had plenty of times where I've been playing in my artillery, specifically the T92. I've been rushed by the EBR. I know how it feels. It's terrible. Oh. Boom, on the move. <laughs> and pop, there goes the track. And that's a bounce. That's a bounce. And that's a bounce. <laughs> And I'm out of the match just like that. But Well, I hope you had as much fun as I did just watching that back, just poking fun at it. Now I want everyone to go back in the comments section for anyone that watches this. How many premium rounds were absorbed or bounced? Just go ahead and leave that below. I have no idea. And I don't feel like counting it right now. But that's going to be it for now. So, be safe out there. Happy hunting. And as always... I'll see you later.